Hi everyone, um, happy, well, I don't even know when my days are, Wednesday, happy Wednesday everyone. Um, I'm here with Genevieve today um, because, mainly because, I found this dang blanket. Um, some of you may have seen it over the years, but it's this pumpkin job. Um, I don't particularly, what's the word, celebrate Halloween, um, I'm a Sawain girl, um, so buying things with pumpkins and stuff leaves me cold, I'm not in the least bit interested in it, um, but this, this blanket I particularly liked because the pumpkins look like really quite nasty, <laughs> they look like um, evil pumpkins, um, that kind of entertained me, um, anyway, I found this in a sucky bag. <laughs> you know those um, storage bags that you suck all the air out of with your Uber or your vacuum? Um, yeah, um, I was going through all the things in the sucky bags um, this morning uh, to see whether it was still relevant or needed, anything that there were in these bags, because I've got quite a few. Um, and yeah, I came across this, uh, which is why it's a little creased, uh, because it's been in there a long time, you know. So I thought what I'd do is I'd pop online. Um, I prefer the, the cream side. Um, so I thought I'd pop online, show you the blanket, uh, which I believe I got from TK Maxx, but don't quote me. Um, and I've had it ages. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I've also wanted to change Genevieve out of these lovely um, pyjamas for a couple of days now so I thought well now's the opportunity so I thought well here I am I'll pop on uh, and what I'm going to change her into is a little pair of Zara pants um, I've, I've got a choice of bow for her hair whether or not or headband whether or not I use either of those I don't know uh, I have those I've got a dummy clip that's a macrame one that I think is, what does it say here? I don't know what it says. I don't know. Um, it's from somewhere. Um, it's a macrame one and I really like that because it's tatty um, with a, I think that's a bibs dummy um, with the, like a, a lattice pattern in, uh, cut into it. So there's those. Um, I've got some big socks to make her look cute um, and this little Polan Pirate uh, top um, with, well, if you look closely at it, it, it looks like sheep. Um, it's sheep, it's little s s twig stick sheep, which is a little bit unusual, but they, they've definitely got sheep faces. Anyway, um, I thought it's a, it's a beigey look, it's an autumnal look, we'll go with it. Um, and I've got a few pumpkins around as it's close to the 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 the, the knock on door day. Um, I have removed my ring doorbell, by the way. <laughs> and not that I have to sit in the dark. I don't. Um, I don't do that um, because they're actually quite respectful around here. If you don't have your property decorated, then the children don't come. Um, um, so that's good. They're actually very respectful, you know, I mean, because obviously they're coming around with parents and older siblings. So they, they don't knock on doors that do not invite you to do so, um, which, of course, my house isn't. Um, so, yes, but I can still do a little autumn dress up with Genevieve, can't I? So let's get this off. This I forgot where I got this from. Um, it could have been Sainsbury's, actually. It looks like a Sainsbury's sort of a thing. Um, yeah. Um, so, for anybody new, uh, this is the Josie kit by Olga Auer. Uh, had her a while. Very, very curious kit, this is. It's very, very curiously constructed uh, and what have you. Um, not everybody's favourite by any, by any means. But I particularly like it. Um, I think I like it because it's difficult. 
or it looks difficult. Um, she does have an extraordinarily long neck in reborn terms. Um, but overall, this kit is really, really cute, especially the, um, the fat rolls. <laughs> the observation of the fat rolls and these chunky little legs, you know, a chunky little thighs and the expression of her feet and all that sort of thing. Really cute. Um, and I love her hand expression. These little fists. Um, I mean, some people claim that the arms are too short. They're not, actually. Uh, in my opinion, the arms are too thin. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. Um, it, that would be a, a, a criticism. Um, but as with actual humans, there is no such thing as perfection. If some humans do go around thinking that they are perfect. No news for you. <laughs> you know? So, let's get little Madam dressed. Now, I fancy putting her on um, a cloth nappy, actually. So just let me go and reach for one. It's just a decision I've suddenly made, quite randomly. Um, and we'll go with the assembly one uh, that I've got just at the back, to the back of me. Uh, and we'll get this on with a little bit of padding in it, just to bulk her out a little bit, you know. Because, yeah, not a real baby, so we have to give this illusion, don't we? Uh, yeah, so I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It is hump day after all. Um, I don't have to go into work until much later on today, and even that is not for long. Um, it's just a, an hour thing that I'm doing, much later on this evening, so... That's cool. It means I've got all day to myself, pretty much, um, with not much uh, pressing on my time, which I'm very grateful for. And I like the way this assembly fits on her cute little body. Yeah, that looks nice. That does look nice, actually. Oh, these assembly nappies, folks, are really worth the money. Uh, they really are. So let's get her bottoms on first. Um, these are, yeah, these are Zara. Timeless, they're, they're kind of timeless pieces, a timeless basic, which I think we all need in our collections of, of you know, clothes, especially if we're uh, collecting and um, interested in the baby fashion. You need some basics and um, these are a really good basic and very very good quality because they've lasted they really have lasted now let me just check in the camera yeah you see um, as she stares vacantly up into the air um, and now we'll pop on the top which has these two studs now let's pop this over her wee head Again, I have her um, um, stuffed to my requirements, which may be different from an onlooker. You know, from you yourselves, you might like a more solidly stuffed uh, piece. Uh, but I prefer the bendy sort, the ones that are somewhat underfilled so that I can achieve the look that I'm going for in my photographs. It's simple as that really, it's, there's nothing more complex in it. Um, I don't need uh, these dolls to be cuddly, but to appear cuddly, you know, as a, as a real human child would. And I think that's the point, you know. I like the way this ruffles on her little uh, arms by the way that looks super cute oh I'm happy with this so far guys I'm happy with this um, now I get her socks on I do have uh, a couple of videos planned upcoming um, as soon as I can get round to them which will be over the next few days of, of course um, I do have some some topics and things I want to talk about not discussions 
nothing like that we we've lost we've left those nonsense days well far behind to chat with you all about um you know uh, care topics how to's and things like that um where to buy froms and that sort of thing and also you know me with my collections of of <laughs> my excessive collections of nonsense uh, such as, uh, do you remember the um, sleep pod parade that I did? <laughs> I've got another potentially very boring video to make, but I'm going to get a lot of fun out of making this video. So I'm really looking forward to doing it. And that's my blanket display. I am going to show you every one of my blankets. That's every one of my blankets that is not in a sucky bag because I'm not prepared to open all the sucky bags but I will open a couple um, and because I have an excessive collection of baby blankets. Um, might include a few swaddles if they're of note, but yeah, I have a potentially very, very boring video coming up uh, and it'll be coming up quite quickly uh, because I'm waiting for, yet again, another blanket. So yeah, and I know, I know I'm going to be connecting with a lot of you out there because you too will have an obsession with blankets they kind of go hand in hand with babies just in the same way as a nappy would we are all obsessed with blankets so i thought showing you my blanket collection could potentially be the most boring thing you'll see all day or you might be going oh i like that one where can i get that one from and i will be happy to tell you of course so let's just get her hair uh, spritzed and brushed um but yes um yeah i'm looking forward to doing that because i was and i i know i've banged on about this live uh, that i go into on facebook um where she sells things um amy i was going to call her joe no amy well amy sells things her and her her uh, cohorts they sell things and it's a a generally happy joyous kind of live it's it's fun times it's bants it's nice um anyway um i didn't buy much last night but i did buy a handmade blanket now this blanket drew me and i thought no i've got to have it because in the same way as i love a granny cardi i love a granny knit um or a, a specific knit uh, for babies, um, a handmade blanket, mm, it's kind of cutting the mustard for me. Your hands disappeared, missus. Um, so yes, um, I have this blanket coming um, and I will do my blanket collection for you when it does arrive. I'm not sure when it's going to arrive because there's no rush for another blanket, but when it does arrive, uh, I will show it along with the myriad of others, she says, as she's staring at the pile. I do have a very neat pile that I'm looking at um, and obviously blankets with the babies that I can see at the moment. <laughs> so, yes, we'll have a blanket day. Like I say, potentially the most boring video you will watch that day. I know, uh, but also could be fun. Could be fun. Could even do it live. What do you think? What do you think? Just let me know. Um, so that, as I've said before, this one is my favourite uh, hairband bow, which takes me forever to get looking right. So what we'll do is we'll take that off there for now and I'll pop on a magnetised bow and we'll go for cream velvet. Yes, we will. We'll go for cream velvet which is equally as dumb. Hang on, let me pick your head up, missus. I'll poke that star behind you. There you go. What do you think, guys? Is she autumnal enough? Do you reckon, or should I chuck some leaves on there as well? <laughs> the autumnal picture. <laughs> why not, why not? So, over and out from me, and don't forget to look out for that blanket possible boredom. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.